just a Kenyan girl trying to make it on the streets of Nairobi. Because I'm Nairobi, say I'm Is it? So if you're new here, my name is V. I am a medical. I am a licensed medical laboratory scientist. And cooking is my passion so a little background story i have always wanted to own a restaurant so last year everything was just going wrong for me my relationship was going downhill i was depressed my job was not even helping and financial wise i was just surviving and also with covid i did not have any opportunities but then who is god at the beginning of this year god blessed me with everything i have always wanted to have before i turned 25. yeah i just turned 25 on the 17th of june this year so in the beginning of the year of course i was 24. so miraculously i can just call it a miracle i got capital to set up a restaurant so i quit my job i go home i'm like dad <coughs> i have quit my job i have come to open up a restaurant here he was so supportive we go to town we get a place it was not easy to start but we started and the first day I guess it was a success like i sold everything and for like four months i was earning like four thousand a day but it was so hard it was so hard and so mentally tiring every day everything that was going on everything that was going on in the restaurant so this is what happened and this is why i closed guys i am not a failure no i have been thinking that i am a failure because i decided to, because i decided to close down the only thing that i have ever wanted in my life like almost the only thing that i, I have always asked god to give me and so i feel like i failed god i failed myself i failed the world i failed the source of the capital i just failed everyone but this is what happened so uh at like three months of running the restaurant god blessed me with god blessed me with with the other job that i had applied for and a company that i have always wanted to work for and for the four days i'm at work i'm just putting everything and be good at my career for the three days that i will not be at work i go to the restaurant i just develop it and everything was going good my job i was just learning everything i was it was good at home the restaurant was perfect but i was just tired and tired and tired i am a daddy's girl and i know that my dad will always protect me with his life but the problem with being a daddy's girl or a mommy's boy is your parents will think you are two for the rest of your life so they will protect you like you are two and sometimes it's, it's good sometimes it's not so in this situation it was kind of not so when i'm at home when i'm at work my dad would took over when i was at work my dad took over the management of the hotel and us we have like two different ideas two different generations two different ideas so when i'm not there he's like you're struggling too much to make people accept these ideas why not just put some put in some ideas that are already working around this place but then i wanted to be unique so when i'm at home my ideas are running when i'm at work Mm -hmm. when i'm at work his ideas are running so the workers are confused the people there were confused the customers are confused because today you come you find that it's a high-end urban restaurant yeah it was a high-end urban restaurant i don't know why i'm so proud of it yet i have closed anyway so and when i'm not there it's a local restaurant so today you come you find cuisine or food that you will find in cities that is not found in the village then tomorrow you come you find you find food for the village not for the city and you have come for the food for the city if you understand me i don't know if you understand city food and village food so the customers pulled away most of them so in the third month i went home i was like this is what i want and this is what is going to happen in my restaurant so i i changed everything i renovated the place again and it was working again i come back for work same same thing so i just got tired i spend with Tano Mingi mostly when it when it involves family but the, i was so bright guys i am a bright student <laughs> yeah i was so bright so what i did is i just didn't put in everything into the business mostly because i was not i was so sure there was something at the back of my mind that was telling me uh this thing would oh, will not succeed yes it's going to go people will accept your idea but it won't last long so i was like let me just do a pilot program so um like on the six months guys 
unaingia kwa Teddy like the whole day you get sales for 200 Kenyan shillings and initially I was getting 4000 Kenyan shillings like guys it was so depressing like I would go back into my pocket and get money for 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 buying for buying stock I also get money to pay the people and also get money for electricity I also get money for everything just basically any everything because 200 it won't even pay the waiter so you can stay tv and when i try get back up and try coming up with better ideas like it was just terrible you know so i decided but now mbutano i am depressed by something that i don't even know what i'm running because this is not my idea anymore why not just pull back relax re strategize and open up the restaurant in another town in the city that is away from the people that were confused about the idea so i closed down i was like no i am done i am tired so i closed down the restaurant so when i closed down the restaurant i went into not depression i was stressed guys difficult depression i was stressed i was like okay everyone would think i'm a failure everyone would think i don't know what i'm doing with my life and then i'm so confused that my ideas just ideas that will never be actualized like uh, why did they not stand up for my idea like uh but then at the same time i'm like i had i retained the relationship with family also i got to learn a lot about everything and i have just been confused about everything yeah so what i know is huh, i'm going to get back up i will post a lot of cook videos and recipes online i'll become a food a food blogger and from that i will be able to transfer the online crowd to a physical to a physical a physical restaurant because <laughs> The room is crowded and it will be hard to like tell people stop going to chicken in come to liki v cafe so what i need to do is first look for those customers then transfer them from online to a physical place and it was it's not going to be easy because i'm still at work i'm still running the other business this food business this online food business and i don't even know but basically guys i open up a restaurant and management was just hard but i learned a lot and i closed down the restaurant and i'm trying to get back on my feet because i'm a smart girl i am a strong woman and i'm going to be successful yeah so let me just give you an honest advice don't judge me don't come for me don't yeah basically so i see indian families open up open up open up businesses and run businesses together and the businesses become successful but for africans don't come for me guys this is what i have gone through and this is what i think uh we are not there yet so because if if you want to help out your family just do it but don't involve them very much in what you're doing like uh if it's work go to work be professional about it. Be professional about everything. When you get your chums to manage a home, ah, oh, so they they brought you up. Like if it were not for them, of course I would not be here right now. So guys, this is what I learned from running the business for six months. The first thing I learned is business is not easy. So you need to open up a business about something that you love. And I loved cooking. That is why I was able to stay for six months. That's and then the second thing, management is very important. If you are to put management as family, family as management in your business, make them know it's business. It's your idea. They should support. If they want to correct you, they can, but they, sh they should let you actually is your idea. And if you can, if you can, guys, it's okay to put family in your business, but if you can, just avoid that. Just have professional people work for you. And when you get the tombs from the business, the money from the business, then you can help out your family. But I'm still recovering from closing down the business. But by January, guys, I will have a new idea. And if you have any ideas that can help me come back up, 
just put them down in the comment section below and guys thanks for watching remember to like subscribe leave a comment down here let's get to 2000 subscribers and also follow me on instagram and also here just support me just help me get back up yeah basically so that's it for this video thanks for listening thanks for not judging thanks for being here so bye